All right, so this is what we got going on here today. Uh, this is a loading dock behind the grocery store. Uh, it's fairly old. It's been patched plenty of times before. And they're starting to get another hole right there. Um, so this is one of those times where, you know, they really need a new one, but we're just going to scab another piece of patch plate on top of this. Get it. It's going to last them another couple of years. And then they can decide to either patch it again or replace it later on down the line. We're not going to replace it right now. Uh, so I already measured up uh, how I got to cut my plate. Um, we're just getting another piece of diamond plate here. Uh, I got this one. Uh, somebody with a shear cut this to 5 foot by 20 inches or 60 inches by 20 inches, whatever. You know, if you like just using inches, 5 foot by 20. Um, I already marked out where I got to cut it. Um, I'm going to, I'm not using. I'm using this Milwaukee saw to cut this. I could use a seven inch grinder or even a four and a half if I wanted to, but I'm using this. If you're using, if you're another welder using these big Lincoln SA200s or even the 250s, I think, do not use this machine to power the saw. You will burn it up. Uh, the way around that is just get a battery saw. I like the corded ones. So I'll use that generator to cut this. Then I'm shutting that generator off, firing up the Lincoln, uh, and uh, I'm gonna weld, clean this all up, weld that plate in with the Lincoln. Uh, probably weld all the way around it. Seems like a good, good job for the Lincoln. So yeah, we'll see how this one turns out. It ain't gonna be perfect, but it'll last another couple of years. Or they got to do something else to this thing. All right, we are back. I'm not shutting that generator off. Uh, we got that all cleaned up. Um, I used the leaf blower, got all the loose stuff out of there. I used the grinder and cleaned up what I could. I'm not trying to get it perfect. I just got to be able to get it some weld in there. The yellow cord is plugged into that. The orange cord plugged in over there. I'm not running that saw on that generator. But I got this thing all cut up, uh, cleaned up. So now it's time to take that, unclamp it, throw it over there onto that. Uh, I think before I, I weld it though, get the spray up out of here uh, and spray it down some. I gotta find it. It's kind of a mess in here. But uh, I got this anti-rust spray. Here we go. There it is. Boom! This stuff. I'm gonna spray the back side of some of that. Um, that should help uh, keep the two layers from uh, rusting. We'll see. Alright, so obviously it's dark out now. Um, but we got her welded in there. Uh, that's one of my work lights over there, there. I got another one in my hand here, so hopefully y'all can see. Uh, that's that plate there uh, from a distance. We ran a lot of 6010 and a lot of 8010. Um, eighth inch 6010. 332nd, 60-10, and then 532nd, 80-10. <clears throat> yeah, this is one of them repairs where you, you can pretty much run any rod that you feel comfortable with. You know, if you like 60-13, run 60-13, 70-14, 70-18. It really doesn't matter. Um, I like 60-10, especially when it's on like rusty stuff. Um, 
And the 8010 was pretty fast and smooth uh, on the cover passes. Um, right here, along this whole weld, down this way, this way, and then this little corner here. Uh, I don't know what they used to weld this stuff in, uh, but it was like, I don't know, it was kind of like I was gouging into it. Um, and then the, the plate was wearing away, so I pretty much did a bunch of, and I burned some holes in it. And then I did some cover and, uh, I did some build and fill passes. Uh, they weren't really cover passes, they were more like to build up. Uh, so now there's some more metal there. It's not gonna last forever, but I don't know. Like, I just kept burning holes through it, like all over the place. So I pretty much tied, um, I pretty much tied this new piece into this other newer but yet still old piece and uh got her done so they ain't pretty but it's gonna hold it's gonna last i wasn't able to get that weld all the way done i probably could have i would spend a lot more time but it's kind of pointless in my opinion uh, so this, I mean, this should work. And then when I was working on this, I noticed a crack in this plate right there. So I kind of got her, I uh, ground it out a little bit. Not, I mean, it's not a hundred percent perfect, but it's better than it was. Um, I didn't bid on that. So I didn't go too crazy with that crack. I did bid on this, and then I spent extra time on this, so I mean, I don't know, it should be okay. I'm gonna pack up my tools, and when this plate cools down, I'm gonna spray it. This whole area with that rust preventive stuff, that way when they throw salt and stuff on this thing, it's not going to uh, rust out as quick. I'm hoping it's not so slippery when I spray that spray. I think that's more of like a sticky kind of spray as opposed to like spraying it with WD-40 or something. So, I don't know. I might spray these uh, the pivot points with some uh, lubricant as well. I don't know, we'll see. Time to pack up and get out of here.